Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you an AI-powered agent I built using N8N that can manage emails, set calendar events, translate messages, and even search Google. If I see that you're interested in this type of automation, I'll enhance it by adding more tools. This automation works seamlessly with Telegram, OpenAI, and various Google services to create a fully automated digital assistant. The AI agent starts by receiving a message in Telegram. It can handle both text and voice commands. If it's a voice message, the system transcribes it using OpenAI's Whisper model. If it's text, it goes straight to the AI for processing. The AI agent then understands the message and checks if it requires a specific action like reading or sending emails, setting or checking calendar events, creating Google tasks, translating text, performing a Google search. This setup makes it extremely powerful, acting as a personal assistant that automates daily tasks effortlessly. Let's see it in action. Get emails. Need to check your emails without opening Gmail? No problem. The AI agent can fetch your latest emails and summarize them for you. Just send a message like, check my latest emails. The AI will instantly retrieve your inbox making sure you never miss an important message. Send email. Replying to emails just got easier. Instead of opening Gmail, just tell the AI what you want to say. Send an email to razvanrano at gmail.com saying I'll be there at 10 a.m. The agent will draft and send the email for you completely hands-free. Create draft. Write emails on the go and review them later. The AI agent can create drafts in your Gmail account. Simply say, draft an email to razvanrano at gmail.com, highlighting how awesome the Sumo Bundle YouTube channel is. It will save your message in Gmail drafts, so you can send it later when you're ready. Let me show you my draft folder. Set calendar. Never forget a meeting again. Easily add events to your Google Calendar by messaging the AI. Schedule a meeting with Alex today at 9 p.m. The AI will create the event automatically, keeping your schedule organized. Check calendar. Want to know what's next on your schedule? Just ask, what are my meetings today? The AI will fetch your upcoming events so you stay ahead of your agenda. Add Google Tasks. Stay productive with your to-do list. Need to remember something? Tell the AI, add ask users to subscribe to Sumo Bundle to my tasks. It will create a Google task for you, helping you stay organized. Let me show you my Google tasks. Get Google tasks. Checking your to-do list has never been easier. Simply ask, what are my pending tasks? The AI will fetch all your Google tasks, ensuring nothing gets overlooked. Translate anything in seconds. Ask the AI to convert text into different languages. Translate good morning to Spanish. It instantly provides the translation, making communication effortless. Google search. Find answers instantly with AI-powered search. Instead of opening a browser, just ask. Search Google. What can you tell me about sumobundle.com? The AI will fetch real-time Google search results, giving you the information you need fast. Now let me give you a few examples using audio. In Telegram, I will click on the microphone and say, add task. Buy milk. In just a few seconds, the task Buy milk will appear in the task list, seamlessly added by the AI agent. Or, for example, if I travel to a foreign country and need a quick translation, I can ask my agent, Translate to German, I want to buy a car. In seconds, the AI will provide the correct translation, making communication effortless. The translation is Ich möchte ein Auto kaufen. I've added the task to buy milk to your to-do list. If you want this automation, you can get the workflow for N8N from our community. You'll find the first link in the description. In the same community, you can also download all the automations featured on this channel. Plus, you'll also get access to all future automations. Keep in mind that I'll be increasing the price soon, so if you want to lock in the current price, now is the best time to take action. Now, I'll show you how this AI agent was built. First, you need to create the credentials for each module. In this tutorial, 
I won't go into detail on how to create these credentials because that would make the video too long, and let's be honest, nobody would watch until the end. As a quick guide, you need to go to the Credentials section in N8N. For example, if you're setting up Telegram, simply click on the Docs link next to it. You'll find a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to generate the access token, which is required to connect your bot. Just follow the instructions, and you'll have it set up in no time. For Google services, Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Tasks, the setup is more complex. I highly recommend watching my previous video where I demonstrate how to get the necessary credentials for Google API integration. The first module in our workflow is the Telegram trigger. This module listens for incoming messages in Telegram. It can detect whether the message is text or voice, allowing us to process them differently. After receiving a message, the switcher module determines whether it's a voice message or text message. If the message is a voice recording, it is sent to OpenAI's Whisper model for transcription. If the message is text, it goes directly into processing. At the core of this workflow is the AI Agent module. This module uses OpenAI's GPT model to understand the message. The agent has memory via the Window Buffer Memory module, allowing it to remember previous interactions within a conversation. The AI determines whether the user request requires an action, such as sending an email, adding a calendar event, or translating text. It's crucial to copy my prompt exactly as shown. Please pause the video now and either copy the code or write your own version. Based on the user's request, the AI agent can perform a variety of tasks, including fetching emails, this module retrieves your latest emails from Gmail. Check my settings. Sending emails. This module allows the AI agent to send an email directly from your Gmail account. You'll need to set the recipient's email address, subject, and body message dynamically using variables. If you use the expression from AI, the agent will know how to create the variables automatically. Drafting emails in Gmail. Instead of sending an email immediately, this module creates a draft for later review. Similar to the Send Email module, you set the recipient, subject, and content using the right expression. Adding or checking Google Calendar events. This module manages Google Calendar by creating or retrieving events. You need to define the event title, date, and time. If checking the calendar, it will fetch upcoming events. It is very important to set the correct date in your N8N installation. If you are using the cloud version, you can update the date settings directly from your account. If you are using a self-hosted version of N8N, you may need to check with your hosting provider if you don't know how to change the server time and date. In my case, I configured the date settings directly within my AI agent. The following three modules are configured as subtasks. Each one needs to be configured individually to function properly within the workflow. To integrate Google Tasks into your AI agent, you first need to create a separate workflow in N8N. This workflow will handle task creation and retrieval separately from the main automation. Create a new workflow start by creating a new workflow in N8N. This workflow will include Workflow Input. This module receives task creation requests and Google Tasks module. This module interacts with Google Tasks to add new tasks. Now, when you return to the main workflow place, make sure you select the right sub workflow. For the Get Google Tasks module, I have configured the following settings. Additionally, for this module, you need to create a sub workflow that consists of three modules Workflow Input Trigger. This module receives the request to fetch Google Tasks. You can find the specific settings here. Google Tasks module. This module retrieves tasks based on defined filters. You can review my exact configuration here. OpenAI module. This module processes and formats the retrieved tasks using AI. If you're using OpenAI, I recommend copying my exact prompt or customizing it based on your needs. Now, for the translator tool, you need to create a new sub workflow. To set it up, you need to create two modules. The first module is the workflow input trigger. You can refer to my settings here 
to ensure it is configured correctly. Next, configure the OpenAI module, which processes the translation request. Check my settings for reference. You can either copy my exact prompt or create your own, depending on your requirements. Once the sub workflow is ready, go back to the main workflow and double click on the translator module. In the module settings, select the sub workflow translate, the one you just created. This ensures that your translation requests are properly processed within the automation. The last tool is very straightforward to set up. Simply sign up for SERP API, and upon registration, you will instantly receive your API key. Now, I need to set up an IF module to determine whether the response should be in audio or text format. If the condition is true, the workflow will generate an audio response using OpenAI's text-to-speech and then send the audio directly to Telegram. If the condition is false, the AI will send a text response inside Telegram instead. Here are the settings for my IF module, which controls this decision-making process. Next, you'll find the settings for the Generate Audio module. This module uses OpenAI's text-to-speech feature to convert text into spoken audio. Here, you can also customize the voice settings. In my case, I am using Nova, but you can experiment with different voices to match your preference. After generating the audio, the workflow moves to the Response Audio module, which sends the audio message back to Telegram. Please check the settings carefully and make sure the input binary field is set correctly. Also, verify that the chat ID is written exactly as shown in my video to ensure the message reaches the correct Telegram user or group. If the condition in the IF module is false, the workflow will send a standard text message instead of an audio response. Check the settings for the response text module to ensure it is correctly configured for Telegram messaging. Once everything is set up correctly, your AI-powered agent will be able to seamlessly switch between text and voice interactions, making the automation more versatile and user-friendly. If you leave a comment or suggestion, I'll continue expanding this AI agent with new subtasks. For example, you could use this same AI workflow to write blog posts directly from Telegram using a simple voice command, schedule and post updates to your social media accounts, automate even more tasks based on your needs. The possibilities are endless. Let me know in the comments which subtasks you'd like to see next, and your suggestion might become the next tutorial. If you're interested in more automation workflows, be sure to check out our Automation Tribe community, where you can find exclusive resources, workflows, and updates to enhance your AI automations even further. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel,